10 minute time limit in this corner from Atlanta, Georgia, gentleman Ken Thames. His opponent this evening from Kansas City, Kansas, T.C. Carter. All right, fans, you heard it. One fall match. Gentleman Ken Thames against T.C. Carter. Bob Geigel, welcome back again. It's great to have you here during this hour to, to lend your expertise and keep us up with what's going on and who's coming into the World Wrestling Alliance and all the things that are happening. That was a real shocker. Rufus R. Jones retired. Uh, Ken Tim's hollering to uh, you, Bob Geiger, wanting to know where your champions are at. I heard him. Uh, I'm sure there are plenty of champions that will go after Ken Tim's. Well, well, you I'll, know. I'll say this for Ken Tim's. He's an aggressive wrestler now. Yeah, he's aggressive. Well, right now he's calling for Mike George. Uh, now he's hollering for Peterson. Uh, he better keep his uh, attention focused on T.C. Carter because uh, losing to T.C. Carter sure won't get him any uh, title matches. Uh, Tim's while he works over T.C. Carter, continuing to call uh, alternatingly for Peterson and George. Uh, Tim's t uh, talking in your direction, Bob Geigel, saying you can hide him, but he'll find him. Oh, what a high backdrop that was. That's right. Obi didn't get hurt. Oh, uh, I don't. If that didn't knock the wind out of him, nothing will. PC yeah, Carter's down. Yeah, Tibbs is possessed. What's, uh, what got into him? Well, he's been here, what? Uh, I believe this is the fourth week now he's been here, and apparently he's unsatisfied and he's uh, anxious. He's obviously looking for champions and title matches. Clothesline, well yeah, executed clothesline too. Sure was. That was a devastator. Well, he continues to laugh. Obviously, uh, Ken Tim's in full control of this match. Watch out. There's TC Carter down on the floor. Ken Tim certainly enjoying himself at this moment, strutting around the ring, uh, demanding once again that uh, promoter Bob Geigel quit hiding the champions and that they bring the champions to him he better keep his eyes on this tc carter because this tc carter is an improved wrestler he's getting better every week and uh, don't be surprised to see that tc carter up there uh, competing pretty soon well i hope that gentleman ken tams has thought out his challenges because dave peterson the central states champion isn't very hard to find no peterson <laughs> listen don't look for that Peterson too hard or you'll find him, and uh, Tibbs better keep and that And you may regret mind. it when you find him, too. That's right. I know a few uh, top wrestlers that uh, have tried and failed, namely uh, Bob Brown and the Cuban assassin. Uh, Dave Peterson's ducked nobody since winning the title on Christmas night. Tim's delivering a good, solid neck breaker on T.C. Carter. Count of two. Uh, it appeared from our camera angle, Bob Geigel, at Ken Tim's jerk T.C. Carter up from behind the neck, preventing the uh, three count on that one. I think that's what he did. He's trying to punish uh, T.C. Well, you know, he, this is exactly the same thing that Ken Tim's did last week on All-Star Wrestling here when he continued to punish Curtis Hughes far and beyond after he had defeated him. Big suplex from Tim's. Count of two, and Tim pulls him up again by the back of the neck. Tim's uh, complying with the referee, but the referee is trying to tell him if the man's beat, pin him and get it over with. But Tim's continuing to fire away. Uh, you know, Bob, we've seen a few occasions like this where it's backfired before. That was almost one of those occasions, but not quite. T.C. Carter had the right intention. If Tim mess around anymore, he's liable to lose this one. Well, Tim's is a veteran wrestler. Well, Tim's just called out school time, Bob Geigel, and delivers the DDT once again. There's a count of three. Now we got the count of three. Ken Tim's once again referring to you, Bob Geigel, telling you to bring him out. Let's go to the ring for our final announcement. The winner of this match, gentlemen, Ken Tim's. Once again, Bob Geigel, Ken Tim's victorious. We'll be back right after this. <laughs> 